Hi again, it's me. I guess um, today is a video making day, huh? So, um, I just want to share with you um, very quickly my um, other, this is another orchid that I'm rescuing right now that it um, has some sort of a root rots. And next to it, it's a keiki <laughs> from my um, Dendrobium cangianum. No, wait, not that. Dendrobium um, reginae, I think. Um, but anyways, I just kind of peel this um, keiki off and just stick it in here so I can have another plant. But anywho, the focus is on this orchid right here. It's a fowl. Um... And as you can see, I actually have the orchid in a container that does not have any holes in the bottom. So this is actually one of those like food container um, that you get like the soup in, and I just kind of cut off the top so that it's um, shallower. And it has no drainage hole in the bottom, so it's completely closed. And what I did was I put smatna moss in here. It's complete smatna moss. Very, very lightly packed. It's not packed at all. As you can see, it's very loose in the moss, okay? It's not really sitting on top. It's sort of in the moss, as you can see. Um, it's sort of in the moss still. There's There are moss on top of it, around it. Um, but, yeah, so I really like this method, but, um, because it really, really able to retain the moisture and the, the, yeah, the moisture content for, to, um, blah, what am I saying? It really, uh, maintains the moisture content, f um, well for the sick orchid to thrive in. But I think one thing to watch out for is because this container has no drainage hole um, and it's smatna moss. It's um, smatna moss. It's notorious for holding on to water. So I only water this orchid when it's almost dry, not completely bone dry, almost dry. And then I pour a little bit of um, fertilized water, like really, really lightly fertilized water. I pour it in there and I kind of swirl it around so that um, like I tilt the whole thing to swirl around so so all the moss has a chance to absorb the, the water. And then when I think all of them has absorbed all the water and then I would just um, take this whole thing to the sink and pour, like pour out all the excess and then um, I guess I don't water this mm, I only water it like maybe once a month or once every three weeks and it's doing well as you can see it put out lots of uh, new roots this leaf and this leaf is actually new um, when I first put this orchid in there, in here, it only has had um, five leaves. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, these are the ones that are really droopy looking, you know. And the, the really erect leaf, these two, they are healthy leaves that are new. They came out after I put the orchid in here. So this method is working well. The orchid's liking it. I'm, I have the orchid in a very sunny window. So yeah, if you are going to do what I do, just be very careful not, not to have water sit in here. If you're gonna water this, you can miss it. I, I just, I'm just lazy. I don't like to mist because water gets everywhere. You can miss it or you put very, very tiny um, bit of water in here one at a time until you are satisfied with um, how wet the moss is um, instead of pouring tons of water in here and then pouring the rest of them out. Yeah. So this is another way to rescue um, sick orchid, I guess. And there, as you can see, there are like uh, more root growth right here. See? So yeah, um, 
I, I don't think I did a video on this um, sick orchid ever. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of share with you because it's doing very well. It's recovering and I'm really excited. And this Kiki baby right here, it's also doing very well. It's growing as too. So I will um, give you an update um, in a couple weeks to let you know, um, you know, how the orchid's doing. Um, I'm not hopeful that it will flower for me this year because it's, it is sick, um, but hopefully next year. Yay! Okay, thank you. Bye.